on my way to Laguna Beach to go to this restaurant with my friend. It's called The Deck. And I have this like camera holder to hold my camera like on a mirror in, in my car. But when I put it on a front window shield, I didn't like, it was weird, like the angle that the camera was on. So I put it on my side window. So this is why y'all see me from the side. This is what I look like. Um, I got my big old forehead out. I had my hair like in a bun. I did like this little bun I thought was super cute. Um, so I just took my weave out and I have a two piece. I'll show you guys what I have on when I get to the restaurant. But I was like, you know what? Let me talk to my subscribers because um, I just feel like I am so proud of the woman that I'm becoming. Like I'm just growing, maturing. Um, I changed my number this year. I changed it in the beginning of the month. Um, and like the way I'm just handling things, I feel like I'm handling things way better and way more mature and I can just see clearer and see like exactly what I want, um, you know, when dating and being the woman that I am at this age. Like where I wanna go as a woman and the type of person that I wanna be, which is a wife, like, I don't need these people that's just playing and distracting me from like the life that I wanna have to just mess with my emotions and just have access to me. Like, it was nice knowing you, but like, you don't need to be in my life anymore. So I changed my number and um, what else? Oh, y'all, I responded to a situation like really, really, this was really mature for me. I know y'all probably like, well, girl, like, after y'all hear what I'm about to say, y'all probably like, it's not that deep. But like, for me, I can be really, really toxic. And for me, it, it, it was a very mature response. So basically, um, I'm going to Bali for my birthday. And my birthday is not until June. But like, if you guys been following me, you know that I had a horrible birthday last year. Um, and probably every year before. Like, I, I haven't really had a great birthday in a minute. Probably since... 2020 when I graduated nursing school it was COVID I went to Atlanta and I just hit a ball that weekend but um I haven't had a, a great birthday where I'm just out the country um in a minute so I really want to go to Bali this year so I'm not playing like I know it's only about to be February but I'm booking my stuff now because if I have to go alone I will go alone like I that's how serious it is about me enjoying my birthday this year and just relaxing and just celebrating myself so um I was looking at stuff about Bali and then I started thinking like who is one person that I can invite with me a male obviously I don't want to go with no females I'm sick of I love my friends to death I love y'all to death but yeah I ain't, I'm sick of them girl trips okay so I'm like who would be a person that I would be willing to invite to my trip like obviously you know like I'm gonna plan and pay for everything for me because whether anybody comes with me or not I'm going but like if I could invite somebody like who would it be so I started thinking about this guy that I like was dating last year from London so um he lived in London obviously he didn't live in LA I met him on Instagram y'all I met him on Instagram so we were talking and we I feel like we kind of got close like we were talking every day x y and z and if you don't know me like talking to me every day like that that's the way to get me because like I feel like I love when men try to get to know me as a person and my personality versus judging me like oh she's a cute girl and she you know she's a little curvy like and you know like and then y'all start having relations and it's just like y'all don't really know each other so like talking to me like having conversations and really getting to know me and me getting to know you that's my love language I love getting to know people so um we like had kind of got like a little close like around like the spring to the summertime and he ended up coming to LA and when we, he was in LA we did go out to brunch we went on a little date to brunch and he, he had got me some flowers because of course I told him like you know I like flowers it wasn't the biggest bouquet but he made it to the flower shop he's like you know I have to rush to the flower shop um before the flower shop closed he doesn't want to come empty-handed and he bought me some flowers so I thought that was so cute he was sweet honestly we 
they stopped talking because I think he had got upset about something that I did. I, I don't think it was nothing major. And then he tried to like come back and talk to me again. But at the time where he was trying to talk to me again, I was so like, I was over men. It was just given like, I don't want to talk to no men right now. Like, like I'm sick of y'all, like what y'all want. Like it was given like, I don't want to talk to nobody right now because like y'all pissing me off. Like, you know, one of those moves where you just shut down and you're like, I'm over men, I hate all men, X, Y, and Z. I was in one of those categories. So like, I was being kind of like a bitch to him. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I was being a bitch. Like, and I didn't let up, like I did not let up. So like thinking about it or whatever, like and thinking about like, this is somebody that I would like to come on my trip. Like he has an awesome personality. He's never done anything wrong to me. He's always been super sweet. He's not bipolar. He's not controlling. Um, yeah, he was just a sweet guy. Like he came from a two parent household. He values like relationships and all X, Y, and Z. Everything that I pretty much kind of like want in a guy. So, um, but he lived in London. So I reached out to him um, and you know, he was kind of being standoffish at first, I'm not gonna lie. So uh, then he ended up calling me this morning and we talked on the phone a little bit. He's like, uh, he's about to go to the barbershop and uh, get something done, get some work done. And he's gonna call me when he comes from the barbershop. So I decided to text him. I'm like, you know, I don't wanna beat around the bush. Like I wanna see like if he's up to it. Um, so I decided to text him and I'm like, um, would you like to go away for away with me on my birthday? And he's like, to where? And I'm like, to Bali. And he's like, to be honest, I'm seeing someone right now. Yeah, that's what he said. Let me go to it. He said, I gotta be honest, I'm seeing someone right now. So, y'all, I just told y'all, I'm a little toxic. I can get a little crazy controlling and egotistic. If that's a word, yeah. I told y'all already, I'm a little toxic and I can be like full of myself and I feel like I have like abandonment and attachment issues like with people. And like, I'm not gonna lie, it kinda like low key hurt my feelings. But then I had to think about it today and I'm like, well, this all happened today, but I had to think about it like, you know what? He's a great person and he did nothing wrong to me. It was me not really seeing his value at the time. And basically I was talking to somebody else and that other person, looking at that other person's potential, but not seeing what I had in front of my face to realize that like, you know, like he, I should have valued him at the time. My response was so mature. I'm so proud of me. I said, well, thank you for being honest and the best luck to y'all. And I just feel like I'ma leave it as that. Like, well, obviously I'ma leave it as that cause I ain't got no choice. He's talking to somebody else. But I just feel like I'm growing and I'm starting to understand that if things aren't meant to be with somebody, then you can't force it. Like you just gotta let things be. And I know it sounds so simple to say, and I used to say things like that before, but like I used to force stuff. Like I'm heavy for stuff with people. So I just feel like I'm at the point in my life where like, even if I do have feelings for somebody and stuff like that, if that person is showing me that they're not the person for me, or if that person is telling me like, hey, you know, I'm dating somebody else right now. Like, I appreciate him talking to me and calling me and we having conversations, but him letting me know that he respects the person that he's talking to. And like I said, y'all, that's the type of man that I wanna be with. So I respect the fact that if he was talking to me, he would be telling another woman that, like, I'm seeing somebody right now, you know, instead of just ghosting or instead of not saying nothing at all, like, or instead of being sneaky and talking to me behind the woman's back or anything like that. So, you know, I was happy about that today. And my friend had called me and was like, do you want to go out to eat in Laguna Beach? So I'm like... Yeah, I've never been to Laguna before, um, and I'm doing an assignment in San Diego, y'all. I moved out of LA. I moved out of my apartment. Everything is out my, everything been out my studio. I moved out of LA. Um, all my stuff is up in the air in a pod. I'm for a settlement for a, a property 
in the middle of February and I'm just in a happy space right now like I'm happy that I'm making the money that I'm making right now on my travel assignment I'm happy to be in San Diego and I just feel like this year is my year for sacrificing like I just want to sacrifice and build myself up because I know that I don't want to be working as a nurse forever like I know that I'm want to either work remote as a nurse or just have a bunch of properties where I can um, just live off of that but I probably still would want to still remote work remote as a nurse so um, yeah y'all I'm just happy that I'm maturing and um, I'm seeing my own growth uh, I deactivated my Instagram because I just feel like right now I'm just focused on me and growing as a better person and I, I think I might actually keep it deactivated. My goal is kind of to keep it deactivated for the rest of the year because I just feel like this year is all about me working to better myself. And I don't really care about what everybody else is doing. I don't really care about showing it off to other people. Like I don't care if other people know that I'm buying a property. I don't care if other people know that I'm back relocated in Philadelphia. Like I don't care. Like that's, and honestly, the type of people that follow me on Instagram, I don't want them to know like I don't want none of those guys on there I you know like like the guys that's on my Instagram and stuff like the attention that I get on there I'm I'm just sick of people judging me for how I look like I'm a pretty girl and you know I like to do my makeup I like to stay hip I like my body done and sometimes I do like to dress like an exposing way in which I'm trying to change but um and dress more a little bit more modest but I do like to dress sexy and stuff but I feel like on Instagram you get judged uh, and I attract a certain type of men like I attract men that are like not trying to settle down and men that are like still young and trying to deal with a bunch of other girls that are Instagram girls or girls that look like me but I'm not really going for that I want a man that knows what he wants and um, you know has a career is not like in the streets or scamming or athlete none of that stuff cuz I, I just I'm I don't want that I, I've, I've dated enough of those and I have determined I don't want that I want a man with a job I want a man that maybe has his own businesses that's making legal money making great money legally that don't want to always be outside they want one woman and they want to stay committed to that one woman and they want to enjoy their life and travel and live their best life and build with their partners so right now I'm just focusing on me and building myself up and getting a bunch of properties and hopefully this job continues and I'll continue to work out here in San Diego but yeah y'all that's my life right now I'm going to show you guys the restaurant and the view when we get well when I get there I think she might be there but when I get there um and I'll show you guys my outfit and everything else. Also, y'all, I want to tell y'all I've been on a celibacy journey. So, basically, like, you know, I... This didn't start this new year. It kind of did start last year. Like, I haven't really been giving my body to people. I felt like I don't want to give my body to anybody that I'm not committed to. I just feel like, why am I giving my body to somebody that won't even commit to me? So, it's been going well. I'm happy with the celibacy journey and, um not really giving it to these guys because it also shows you what people's true intentions are and if they're around just to lie and tell you that they want one thing and just you know to get what they want and then switch up like it you know somebody that don't want to be with you usually won't go through all that hassle they'll usually probably just get somebody else I will hope not but I mean granted you can't control what other people do but I, me personally, I feel like I don't want to, uh, I don't want to give my body to anybody. These hills out here is big, y'all, that I'm not in a committed relationship with. Like, it's just, it's just not, it's not happening anymore. Like, what, what am I doing besides losing my value? Like, and then we don't, we talk for a few months and then we don't talk anymore. Like, I feel like that was your whole purpose. So I just feel like. You know, I want to get to know a person and make sure we're on the same page and, you know, make sure that they would like to be committed to me as well. Because, again, my goal is marriage. And I feel like if you want a different response, you can't keep doing the same stuff. It's getting dark. But I want a different response, so I can't keep dating the same way. And I try to tell my other girlfriend that as well. Like, when you're talking to these guys, don't just talk to them and... um figure like you know that's your man like oh that's my man like they 
they are yours like make sure that that man is asking you i don't like this lighting but make sure that that man is asking you to be in a relationship and my friend has said like oh like that's childish like who still asks that anymore like you know we're grown who ain't nobody asking do you want to be my boyfriend do you want to be my girlfriend i'm like people are asking that guys are asking that like if you want me to be yours you have to make that known like you have to make that known and you have to follow up with some actions like yes it's plenty of guys that's asking that so don't just assume like just because you get to a certain age a guy shouldn't be properly asking you out like no that's exactly what i want i want somebody to make it clear like i want you and i want us to be a thing like we're official so it's no miscommunications like i feel like i'm so big on clear communication now because i've been dealt with enough manipulators and enough people that are gaslighting the situation and pretending that they want something that they know they absolutely don't want at the end of the day so yeah y'all i just feel like i'm growing and maturing and i it makes me emotional like my eyes had got a little bit watery because like just seeing my growth and what i'm saying out my mouth and that this time that i'm saying it like i've i've been on different type of journeys and stuff like that before but like now that i'm saying it it makes me emotional because i'm actually following up with it like my actions is following through with it so i'm just so proud of myself as a woman and how i've grown like the things that i wanted at 25 are not the things that i want now in a man like i used to date based off of looks and based off of like stuff like that and that's not me anymore like honestly yeah I, I have to have somewhat type of attraction to you but i feel like if you're a great person and you can treat me right and you're looking to be serious and you know you're not too bad like i can like i would not mind committing to that type of person like it's getting dark around here but it is so beautiful i'm gonna miss california y'all look at laguna beach oh my god it's so beautiful look at these houses on the hill look at the sunset la has the best i said la i'm not in la california has the best sun seven minutes away from this place and the place is right along the beach as y'all can see okay so we're going to this place called Mazambique is right here i think i just missed the parking lot oh it's another parking lot right here oh my god laguna beach is so pretty okay so i don't know how to pronounce this place that she has me at it's called Mozambique. i'm not sure but look they have a bird <laughs> they have parrots in the cage outside of the restaurant in a fire pit this is cute this is my type of vibe and we're eating on the rooftop it's a beautiful night tonight okay so i'm finally at the rooftop and i just have to find her oh this is gorgeous oh there she is i see her Hey. <laughs> Nothing. This is Kelson. Um, this place is absolutely gorgeous, guys. It's like a little rooftop in Laguna. Look at that sunset. Oh my God. It's a little cloudy, but it's gorgeous out here. I'm really going to miss California. I'm going to make a TikTok. Okay, guys. So, this is our appetizer. We got this. I got some beef samosas it's like an empanada they said and it came with this little side salad and she got calamari and it came with sweet potato fries mm, i'm so hungry i'm gonna eat this one hanging off and then <laughs> we just ordered our drinks what did you get to drink wait that looks like prince harry <laughs> oh that guy looked like prince harry um she got a lychee martini and I got the drunken elephant so let's see when those come out and how they're tasting but y'all I love this restaurant this is gorgeous this was an excellent choice Kelsey <laughs> look at the sky this is everything I like literally I love vibes like this these samosa things y'all they are good it has like this sauce I'm dipping it into 
Nothing about no Madagascar in the name, but it's in Laguna Beach. Um, yeah, it's super cute. It has three levels. It's really cute. Okay. I'm in a martini glass. So Kelson got a lychee. Let me, let me. And I got the drunken elephant. It's like extra. You can put it on the side. She want hers in a martini glass, so she's. Yeah. Get it right now. Okay, <laughs> she's being that girl. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this looks good. It has vanilla vodka in it. Was it vanilla vodka? Okay, we gonna try it. We gonna see. Okay, guys. So my food is here. So I got. Let me just put the flashlight on it so y'all can see. I got the seafood curry. So it's like a curry sauce and it's different types of seafood. Shrimp. Um, I think is what is it? Shrimp. Lobster. Lobster. Curry. And I don't know something else. And then I got another drink because this drunken elephant is really good. It tastes like a like a smooth milky vanilla drink. It's really good. And then what did you get, Kelson? <laughs> It's hot. She got the lobster tail with what? Mm -mm, that's prawns. Huh? Those are prawns, but I don't know. It's like some type of sauce on it. Oh well, she got prawns with a sauce. And don't don't mind the fries and the fries, but they sent her the wrong fries. She's gonna get the seasoned fries. But y'all, so far, so good. Everything has been really delicious here. Um, I finished my appetizer, and she finished her appetizer. Yeah, everything is good. This place is pretty good. I'm so, glad he recommended this place. Yes, I'm glad your date or your I'm glad your boo recommended it too because it's good. Oh, this is not good like and I look a mess, so let me go. Okay guys, so this is what I decided to wear tonight. I got this set from this girl that I found on TikTok. She sells clothes. I'll link her below. It's a two-piece set. It comes off your hips. It's a skirt. And then I have on my white boots underneath the dress. With my white Chanel. And the top has flare arms and like a scrunch part on the side. I got a feeling for you. Hope you ain't loving the crew. How many bodies you got? 